with dawn an end to Mikolaev's heaviest night of shelling so far, but not to the fear it brings. In the immediate aftermath, fires to be put out. The only fatalities at this residential mansion. Multi-millionaire businessman Alexei Vadaturksky and his wife Raisa were sheltering in the basement when their home took a direct hit. Neighbours still in shock. We don't know what to do. We hate Russia, actually. It's, it's unbelievable that it can, in one moment, just destroy everything. Maxim has lived here almost 20 years, but maybe no more. I just don't want to stay here right now. This crater here gives you an idea of just how big the blast was. Debris strewn down here and the windows of the building blown out. Other buildings around here also hit. Those with military links off limits to our cameras. The mayor concerned Russian sympathizers at work. I'm sure that they have uh, spies who are uh, going around the city and they uh, say like I saw the number of machines or the people, military people, they send this information and Russian attacks there. And do you think those saboteurs might have helped in the attacks last night? I, I'm sure they helped. Within hours, life returning to what passes as normal. Pensioners and others in line for drinking water. The city's clean water supply destroyed months ago. They hit us, and they hit us hard. From 1 a.m. until morning, Valentina tells us, we are scared, we want to leave. But that's how life is for us now. Where the mansion was hit and residents are richer, another neighborhood of the dead businessman tells me he can't take it anymore, that he'll leave. Not clear if high-profile businessman Alexei Vadaturksky was an intended target. President Zelensky hailed him a hero. His death and the up-tempo strikes here chilling this city's otherwise resilient mood. Nick Robertson, CNN, Mikolaev, Ukraine.